It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today we are doing a special video. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time and it is to eat like edgy veg. Yes, people. So today we're going to be eating like Candace from the Edgy Veg. And I've been meaning to do this for a while because Candace actually did one of these videos on one of my what I ate in a day videos. So she ate like me for a day. So I'll link that video down below. It's a lot of fun. She throws a little shade, but it's okay. This is my payback. <laughs> Anyways, so if you guys don't know Edgy Veg or Candace, if you don't know, you should definitely check out her channel. She is a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, also has a blog, also has Instagram, all that good stuff. And she makes so much delicious vegan food. She focuses a lot on like vegan junk food, which is awesome. Lots of really delicious looking vegan junk food, but also, you know, other stuff as well. Basically just yummy vegan food. You guys would definitely love her for sure. She's so much fun to watch. Yeah, she's very entertaining. Even though we're both Canadian, we've never met because Canada is it's a little big. It's a little big of a country and she lives in Toronto and I live in Calgary and you know one day I'm sure I'm sure uh, once this whole craziness is over I'm sure I will be visiting Toronto at some point so hopefully we can meet anyways until then we will be communicating digitally okay as we all are right now so that's fine anyway check her out if you haven't already but today I'm gonna be eating like her for a day and she had this video where's my phone where's my phone there it is hold on so she had this video where she did lazy recipes. I was like, okay, this be my calling, okay? You guys know how it is. You guys know how it is over here. So she had a video where she's eating lazy for a day. Now she started off with coffee. My girl, this is why, this is why we be friends. Okay, well, I mean, everyone starts off with coffee, right? I think. So she started off with coffee and of course I always start out with coffee so thank you Candice for being a coffee drinker like me. I'm using my lovely mug. This is my Harry Potter mug that I got at the Harry Potter Studios in London or is it London? I went there a few years ago and I still use this mug. Anyways I'm gonna be following her what I eat in a day lazy and easy vegan recipes. So very excited can't wait to eat like Candice. Let's see what her food is like, what she likes to eat on a daily basis. And let me know guys if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to eat like somebody else for a day because I'll do it. This might be a new th fun thing to do, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and make breakfast. All right guys, so for breakfast, Candace makes a sandwich and it looks delicious. I know I'm gonna like it because I like all of these things and I've made sandwiches similar to this before, okay? So I'm gonna be making a, what Candace calls a BLT sandwich now. <laughs> It's not really BLT. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> Any shade I throw in this video is all in good fun, okay? Have a sense of humor. So we're gonna need bread. So two pieces of bread, guys. This is a tutorial on how to make a sandwich. Why is this bread so small? Okay, well, I accidentally bought really small bread, which I'm not happy about. Very tiny. Um, but we're gonna use it because it's what we have. Anyway, so small bread. And for the protein she uses, guys, this is why we love Candace. She uses smoked tofu. You guys know how much I love smoked tofu. So lovely. I'm going to slice that up real good. And we're also going to be using tomato. And she uses pea shoots in her sandwich, but I don't have pea shoots. I couldn't find them. Okay, so we're going to use alfalfa sprouts instead. Okay, you guys know I love alfalfa sprouts. I feel like, you know, it's a good substitute. And avocado. So we're just going to slice up the avocado. Before that, let's throw the tiny little pieces of bread into the toaster. In the video that where she um, ate like me for a day, she did make a comment saying, this is a lot of food. So I feel like I definitely eat more than she does. I was watching this video of her, what I eat in a day, and I was like, I definitely eat more than Candace. We'll see how hungry I feel, okay? All right, we got the pieces of toast. Let's put some avocado on each side. So let's mash the avocado. 
Then we're also going to add the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And the, this is going to be a fat sandwich, the uh, smoked tofu. Add like four slices. She does put some um, kala namak on her smoked tofu, which is basically like an eggy sort of salt. Like it tastes sulfury. I actually have kala, ka, kala namak. I actually do have some, but I don't really like the sulfury taste. So I'm not going to add that. Okay, am I allowed to add it? Am I allowed? Am I allowed to like do things my way? I don't know. So we're just going to put some actual like regular salt, you know. But if you have kala namak, do it. To me, I don't need it, and I don't really like sulfury taste. Instead of pea shoots, like I mentioned, I'm going to add some alfalfa sprouts. Yum! Look at this, guys. This is a this is a legit sandwich. I don't know. It's legit, man. All right, folks. Here's the fat sandwich. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mmm. 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 You know what I forgot? She added some um, spicy sauce to her sandwich. Now she added like four dots, okay? Come on, come on Candace, you can do better than that. So we're gonna add quite a bit of sriracha. <laughs> My roommate is awake. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. So there you go. We got, the, we got the spicy sauce in there, very important. Now it's messy, but that's my fault. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this and you know, I'll, I'll have another bite. Let's have another bite with the spicy stuff. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'll see you for the next meal. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time for lunch. Now, one thing that I should mention is that I fail once again because I don't pay attention. So I just watched Candace's video again, and it looks like she added cinnamon into her coffee, which I didn't do. So maybe I'll have another coffee, although it's kind of like late now. It's like 1.30, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm just staying home. There are no rules anymore, so maybe I'll have another coffee later, but we'll see. Another thing that she does is she drinks lemon water with sea salt. So I already drink lemon water, but I don't usually add salt in my water. I don't know. Do you guys do this? It's a bit weird. I've heard about people doing this. I heard it can be good for you or something. Some kind of mineral. Something about minerals, okay? But I don't know. I'm not like, I don't know. Salt in water? I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay. Well, we're going to make lunch now. So it looks like she has a Caesar, like what she calls a loaded Caesar salad for lunch. So we're going to make that Caesar salad. Okay. I think what she did is she just kind of like threw everything together that she has, like in terms of vegetables and then mixed everything with her Caesar salad dressing. So first I'm going to make her Caesar salad dressing, which is on her website. So I'm gonna make that. So I've got cashews that are boiling. So one thing that I like to do with cashews because I never ever soak them in advance, but when you make like dressings or sauces, you gotta soak them because it has to soften, okay? That's how you get the creamy dressing or the creamy sauce. So I boil them for like 20 minutes or so until they're like softened. So I think they should be done now. So let's make the dressing. All right, so the cashews are now softened. So we're gonna throw this into a blender. I've rinsed it following the instructions and then it says to add a third cup and a tablespoon of water very specific Candace I like it okay so we've got a third cup and a tablespoon okay of water we're going to blend this and then we can add other ingredients all right guys, here we are. So this is well blended, I think, hopefully. Now we can add in the other ingredients. I'm gonna try to do this right, although I am missing one ingredient, so we can't really do it perfectly right, but we'll try. I'm sure it'll be delicious regardless. So we're gonna add some olive oil. Extra virgin, yes, okay. We're also gonna add nutritional yeast. She says it's optional, but like, I mean, come on. Is it really optional? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're also gonna add half a lemon juiced, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add the dry stuff first, so I can just use this one teaspoon. One teaspoon of garlic powder. You can also use actual garlic. Come on, garlic. And one teaspoon of kelp granules. I actually happen to have some. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. 
One teaspoon of tamari. I've got this industrial sized one. I'm sure you could use soy sauce. I'm sure. Let's not spill. Okay. Is that everything? Let me just double check. So the only thing I'm missing that I couldn't find are capers. So hopefully that won't matter too, too much, but we'll find out. So the next step is to just blend everything and then we'll have our dressing. Okay guys, it looks like the dressing is done. And let's just have a little look here. It looks beautiful and I'm sure it is delicious. It could use a little more tang for me, but it's delicious. Now I'm gonna make a salad. And she puts like a million things in her salad, so we'll put a million things into our salad. The base of the salad is kale, and it looks like Candice actually massaged her kale the day before with the dressing. Now, I'm never prepared, so we're just gonna do this now. And I think because I don't have any like, I don't know, glove things, I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of olive oil to massage the kale, I don't know. I'm not very good at, you know, massaging kale. Just gonna cut this up. We're just gonna chop, chop, chop. Pretty healthy lunch. Hopefully it'll make me full. I'm a little concerned that I'll be hungry. We'll find out. All right, let's massage our kale. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Is this not working? There we go. Come on. So we're just gonna add. I don't know what the rules are for massaging kale. I think it's supposed to help you digest it better maybe. I'm not really sure. Okay, we're just, we're just doing it. Okay, I'm just following Candace's instructions. Whew, guys, I know it's her lazy day of eating because she already has all of these vegetables prepared in her fridge and she's just tossing them all in, but because I have to prepare all this stuff, it's actually not that lazy, okay? It's, it's a lot of work. Anyways, so second thing she adds into her salad, um, some cucumber. So we're gonna add some of that. I actually put some of the kale, some of the massaged kale, guys, into a little container because it was quite a bit, okay? It's a lot of kale. So, uh, we're gonna add some cucumber in here. And then, she also adds some pea shoots, which again, I don't have, so instead, alfalfa sprouts, I know. I love alfalfa, why can't I say it? Alfalfa sprouts, there we go, English. Got it, okay. So we're gonna add the alfalfa, uh, <laughs> alfalfa sprouts into the bowl as well. She also adds red onion, which I love, so. Very nice in a salad, nice and fresh. Just gonna add a little bit of that. Okay. We're just gonna chop it into small pieces. All right. She also likes to add some green peas, which is interesting. I don't usually add green peas into my salad, but we're gonna add that in there. Also, some sun-dried tomatoes. Now, I have some jarred here. Here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna cut this up. Ooh, yummy. This is really fun because I don't, like, I'm trying things that I otherwise, like, wouldn't, you know? Like, putting salt in my water, like, what? Anyway. <laughs> Let me know if there's anyone else that you want me to eat like, okay? All right, we're gonna add some dressing. Let's just add, like, I don't know. How much do I need? Next time, I'll try making this dressing with the capers because I feel like it'll be very delicious with the capers as well. All right, so she also throws in some beans. I don't know, I think she used white kidney beans, but I have chickpeas, so I'm just gonna throw in some chickpeas. I want quite a bit because it's a salad. I need it to like, you know, satisfy me. I'm worried, I'm worried, Candice. Am I going to be full? <laughs> I almost never eat a salad as a meal, I'll eat a salad as a side, but I almost never eat it as a meal. So I need it to be like very, very filling, okay? So I'm just gonna plate it. And then, ooh, it's nice and fancy. I think I'll, I'll be satisfied because I'll be chewing so much. <laughs> so, so by the time I'm done this meal, I'm sure I'll be tired of chewing. So, you know, it's like a lot, like a lot of, it's a lot of kale, you know? So another thing she adds, Avocado, so I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add like a quarter of an avocado. Let's try to make it pretty. I'm not very good at this, as you guys know. I like ugly, delicious food. All right, ooh, hello, hi. Okay, so the last very interesting touch, bacon bits. What? Simulated bacon bits. 
So I've never tried simulated bacon bits. This is like, yeah, it's it's um, contains no meat. It actually says that on the packaging. It's actually vegan, funnily enough. So never tried this, um, but I feel like it would be delicious in like, in a salad, um, especially a salad like this. So we're just gonna top. Ooh, this is so interesting. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love the color contrast. There we go. There is the salad. It looks pretty bomb, actually. I'm actually very excited to try this loaded uh, Caesar salad. And basically, I mean, what she did was just, again, throw everything she already had into a salad. So you could do the same. Okay, you don't have to do this whole shebang, but um, I wanted to do the whole shebang. So I did the whole shebang. So let's try it. All right, guys, we're gonna try this salad. It looks pretty legit. Let's try it, guys. I hope I put enough dressing. We'll find out. Mmm. Those bacon bits. It definitely adds like a really nice crunch. Mmm, it's really good, you guys. There's lots of chewing. All right, that is delicious. I'm gonna eat that, enjoy it, okay? Chew a lot, and then hopefully it'll keep me full until dinner. If not, I mean, I'll have dinner in like three, four hours anyways, so I'm sure I'll be okay. So yeah, see you guys at dinner. All right, you guys, so it is now not even six o'clock. It is 5.43, and I am starving, okay? Candace, what are you doing to me? Okay, you need to feed me. Here's the thing. It's, it's it's because I usually snack like I usually have little snacks throughout the day I guess Candace does not snack, but it's actually kind of a good thing I'm trying not to snack too much anyways We are going to make some dinner and it looks like Candace ate uh, pasta for dinner So that makes me very happy So she made a very delicious pasta and I already know it's delicious because I've made it before myself slightly differently Of course, but she made a spaghetti aglio e olio, which is oil and garlic spaghetti is so delicious. If you guys have watched my video on it, you guys already know I love this stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so first you need uh, garlic. Well, you also need pasta. So you can use whatever kind of pasta you want, but I've got this like, I think it's angel, I think it's angel hair pasta. And I actually really like this because I think this would be actually really perfect for aglio e olio because they're really, really thin. The noodles are very thin, so I think it's gonna really soak up that delicious oil. And plus, it cooks really quickly, and did I mention I was hungry? So, um, I also had a little panicky moment because I thought, oh my god, did we run out of garlic? But no, we did not. We did not run out of garlic, so we are going to chop the garlic, guys. What I was taught was to cut the garlic, not like mince it, but cut it into like flat shapes, and that's what I, yeah, that's, that's what I did before. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna use three cloves because, I don't know, like, I just feel like using three cloves. These are pretty big actually, guys. This garlic is very, very big. Uh, let's chop, chop some garlic. I should probably get the water boiling. Yes, let me do that. Okay. All right, we've started the water boiling process. We've already started the garlic peeling process. Now we're gonna do the garlic chopping process. So this recipe, you're literally just getting flavors from garlic and oil. So you can feel free to use literally as much garlic as you want. I think she uses minced garlic in her video. You can use minced garlic. I don't think it really, really matters. Let's be real, guys. We have confirmed I eat more than Candace does. <laughs> or maybe she was busy. You know, the thing is like when you're busy sometimes and you're, you know, working and you're just kind of going about your day and you're working and you're doing a lot of stuff, some people, not me. Some people uh, forget to eat. I don't, I'll never understand that, but maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe I just eat too much. Who knows? All right, looks like the pasta water is boiling, so we're just gonna throw in some pasta. I'm gonna eat quite a bit because I'm hungry, guys. Okay. So this pasta cooks really quickly, which is good and also bad because I'm like not prepared. Here we go. I think it'll cook in like three minutes. Cook time. And then we can start the sauce. So once again, we're gonna use oil and garlic to flavor this pasta. So we just need, we need, we need quite a bit of oil, basically. So I'm using extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Apparently the trick is to basically cook this without letting the garlic burn. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some more oil. Let's be honest. So 
So yeah, it does, it does take a lot of oil. So if you are afraid of oil, then well, it's, it's probably not the right recipe for you. <laughs> so here we go. So the garlic should start dancing soon. We're gonna, we're gonna see some dance, dancing from the garlic. So one thing that Candace did that I kind of forgot to do, and I don't have much time because I think it's pretty much done, is add some green peas into the pasta right before they finish cooking. Maybe the angel hair pasta was not really a good idea at this point because it's too quick. It cooks too quickly. Another thing that Candace adds and what I would like to add but I can't find are like chili flakes. Like, you know, those, like not the Asian chili flakes, but you know, the Italian style chili flakes that you like, ugh. So yeah, I would like to add some chili flakes, but I don't know where they are. So I guess I'm not adding them. Mm. Okay, so I made quite a bit of pasta. You know what I'm gonna add as well, which I don't know if this is allowed, but I'm gonna add lip because I know I'm gonna be hungry if I don't add some beans. I'm gonna add some chickpeas. Candace does not add this, but for me, I know I'll need it. So I'm just gonna add that. I'm just gonna add, let's add the pasta, guys. I feel like I made like just a little too much pasta. But also I am hungry, so I don't know. Of course, we also need to add salt and pepper. Because remember, we haven't seasoned this yet. It's very simple, guys. Like, this is not for people that, you know, this is a very simple but, like, really delicious dish. Black pepper. Let's add some of this little bit of pasta water saved. Let's cook a bit longer. And then I've got my cashew parmesan, you guys, which I'm obsessed with. And I literally put it on top of everything. So I'll leave the recipe down below. It's really easy to make. You can make it with other nuts as well, not just cashews. I'm just gonna kind of like put a lot. <laughs> so really quick, simple dish. This is great if you are quarantined actually because um, everyone has pasta, everyone has oil, everyone has salt. You can just make this with, and garlic lasts forever. So, yeah. Yum! Mm. And you can also add a little parsley. In my case, quite a bit of parsley. <laughs> and there you have it. Super simple. And, oh wait. Wait, one more thing. We're gonna top with some more vegan parm, guys. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Super simple, super easy, and very quick. And I can't wait to eat this. All right, you guys, here we are. This is the final product. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's give this a try. So obviously like you just need to adjust this to your liking. So if you need to add some more salt, absolutely feel free. If you need to add some more oil, feel free. If you need to add whatever it is, feel free, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm Nothing crazy about it. It's just so simple and garlicky, delicious. Um, oily. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I love the addition of the green peas. I never thought to put it into this dish, but it goes really, really well. Adds a nice element of texture. Adds that nice pop. So good. Mmm. Mm. So, adding more oil. <laughs> you know, I just had to do it, you know? Yeah, it's super delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this. So that's pretty much it for what Candace ate today. I, if I eat anything more, I'll let you know. I don't know if I'm allowed to break this rule, <laughs> but I think this should be, should be enough food, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you so much to Candace for the inspiration. Definitely check out her video where she ate like me. I'll link that down below as well. And don't forget, of course, to check out her channel, subscribe to her, 
go to her Instagram, follow her. She's awesome, great personality, so much great food, and um, maybe one day we'll meet after this whole quarantine craziness. Um, guys, change of plans. I need to make more because that was so good. I'm gonna definitely make more. I'm gonna eat more. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, so I had to make more because clearly um, Candace eats much less than I do and I am a hungry, hungry person and plus it was just so good. This time though, I actually used minced garlic instead of uh, chopped garlic because I wanted to, you know, I actually have a feeling that maybe uh, minced garlic will make it taste even better. Mmm! Mm-hmm. Mmm! Mmm! Yep. With the sliced garlic, I do think maybe it takes a little bit more patience, a little more time for the for the oil to infuse with the garlic flavor. But this, oh my god, the garlic flavor is just it's just in there. It's just in there. It's like in the sauce. Mm. Mm. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Leave a little comment down below. If I should eat like somebody else for a day, who should I eat like for a day? And of course, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!